hello hello Sandra here and thank you so much for tuning in we are excited because in this new season of YouTube we are actually going to be sharing a lot of different footage we have added a drone we've added microphones we've added a whole bunch of things to our arsenal and of course we are always learning so we are just excited to share you share with you a different view because there's nothing like a drone shot. It is just so different. So anyways, we're gonna get right into it. The Gulf Air RV Resort in Fort Myers. Talk about an amazing location. It is literally like two miles away from Fort Myers Beach. If you have never been to Fort Myers, it's really, really a cool little beach city. And it's like the strip and there's even an area that's called Times Square, which if you know me, I grew up in New York, so Times Square is always a fun name to see when we're traveling. And it's funny to see it here in Florida. And it is, it's just in a really good location. Went over to Lover's Key State Park, it's right there also. Um, I want to say like nine miles away from the park. There's also Bowditch Park, which that is, I don't know, like maybe three miles away. So everything is really close. And right across from the park, there's something that's called Pelicans. I highly recommend to check that out because their icy is like no other icy we've ever had before. It is like super soft. Google it, if there's one in your area, go check one out. They, it's not regular like ice cream or um, what are those called? Ice cones? It's not like that. It's super soft. So this is literally in front of the RV park. You can just walk over. You have Walmart, which you can walk over to also. There's a little path. You don't even have to go out to the main sidewalk. You could go right from the RV and it leaves you right in the parking lot. So that's super convenient. And uh, what else is near there? Everything. Everything's right near there. It's amazing. And there's also a rec hall, so keep that in mind when you're there. The rec hall has books, so you can take up books if you like reading. It also has a lot of tables, some games, so that's pretty cool. It was a nice area. There's also a pool area, so you can check that out. And this one did not have a hot tub, it's just a pool. There's also laundry, which the laundry is $1.50 per wash and $1.50 per drying, per dry. <laughs> That sounds funny. Wash and dry, each one is $1.50. And at this specific park, there is this little card that you have to buy. The card is $5 and then you can load it. And if I'm not mistaken, the minimum to load is $10. So if you need a washing machine, if you don't have one in your RV or you're staying at one of their cabins and you need to do laundry, that is available. Also, their restrooms, those are upgraded. I actually went in, I didn't use them, but I went in to check them out and they are completely renovated. They have like a cool squared shower head. It's real modern inside, real clean. So that is also convenient if for some reason you don't use the, I know some people, they, they prefer to go use the restrooms at the parks because there's unlimited hot water and just more space. There is also all the way at the back. back. So on Egret Drive, if you just take that street all the way to the back, Lewis discovered this like literally like two days before we were leaving, but all the way back there, there to the right, there's this little road and that's so cool. You take that all the way to the back and it, it looks kind of spooky. <laughs> like you're like, where is this taking me? But then it's an open field. So he ran roads back there. I ran with roads back there and Lexi. Lexi doesn't do much running, but roads does. So we were back there hanging out for a little bit, tiring roads out because he has a lot of energy. And what we learned too from Pat, who he works over there at the park, he told us that they do lunch there. There's, it's a veteran, like um, kind of like a center. And he said anybody could go, kids and everything, and that it's only like $6 for the full lunch meal. So that's good to know. So if we're ever back in that park, we are probably going to check that out because I think that's super convenient. It's right there. There is also a trolley. So the trolley is really cool. We did it the night before we left. It's only 75 cents per adult if you do just one time or they have unlimited cards. So if you're thinking of using it the whole time, they have like a weekly card. They have an unlimited day card for like $2. And that is super, super cool. The kids were free because they were under, I think they have to be under 40 inches, something like that. So they were 
for free, but what an experience. It took us right to Bowditch Park so we didn't have to worry about fighting traffic, using up any gas, looking for parking because parking at Bow Ditch is $2 per hour. And at Lover's Key State Park, which you could take the trolley to go all the way over there as well, there there's also a fee to get into the state park. So you could just hop on the trolley and you don't have to worry about parking. So that's really, really an awesome feature. So next time we go, we are going to use the trolley more often because it is super convenient. It literally, and they run pretty late, like during the weekdays, I think the last one comes back at 10.30 at night. And it's right in front of the RV park. So super, super convenient. And then if you take the trolley going the other way, not from the beach, like not going towards the beach, you could go to the mall in the trolley. So if you don't want to drive around, you really don't have to. So that's pretty cool. It is a tight park. So keep that in mind for those with a larger rig like us. Luckily, it, we went after the season. We are still in Florida and the season now, it's like dead world. Like if you could see around us, like there's just nobody around. So uh, we were good. We had a spot, they put us in spot number 37 and it was just perfect to pull in and out. We had no problems. Shout out to Pat because he helped us when we left. He let us go down the one way. He kind of stopped traffic, make sure nobody was coming up. That way we could just go right out, smooth sailing. They are super accommodating. Like Sandy at the front desk was awesome. Shout out to her. Every time we had mail, she made sure that we knew it was there. And she was just super friendly and really nice. So. We definitely felt welcome there and we can't wait to go back. We don't know when, but definitely we are excited to go back because we're going to just do some more exploring. Two weeks was not enough. <laughs> uh, I want to make sure I don't miss any area of the park. There's horseshoes, there's recycling for those of you that do like to recycle, dumpsters of course. There's a picnic area, so on your way to Walmart, if you take that little path, there's a little area with a memory garden as well. And there's barbecue tables, benches, so that's kind of cool. They have that set up there. And in the middle of the park, there's another rec area, which we did not check that out, so I can't tell you too much. And back there, there's also a laundromat and a bathhouse. And I don't know if that bathhouse is also upgrading, upgraded, I'm assuming it is, but... I'm sure, oh is it a laundromat back there? No, it's just showers. So showers and a bathhouse, not another laundromat, I'm sorry. And then another rack area. So something to keep in mind. And that's about it. So that's all about Golf Air RV Resort. If you have been to this park, let us know your thoughts or if you have been to Fort Myers and recommend anything to do while in the area, let us know. We are going to be releasing some videos of things that we did while we were there, but I know that there's just so much. You can even take a ferry from there to Key West for the day. So there's so much to do. There's the Thomas Edison Museum that we went to a couple of years ago when we first started our being. So, and we actually did a video about that. It wasn't that great. It was when we didn't know much about anything and the video was recorded the wrong way. <laughs> you know what? That's a pretty funny video. I'm going to put the link right up there. That way you could see it. But that's about it. That's about it. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Thank you so much, guys, for tuning in. We appreciate your time. And don't forget, my name is Sandra with First Class RV Adventures, where we support your dreams. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.